I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen. Sunday morning, time for a great breakfast. We're going to be making some malted waffles, malted buttermilk waffles, and then we're going to be topping them with a warm blueberry compote, which I made in another video. So we're going to go ahead and do the waffles now. Let's get started. Waffles are very similar to the very easy formula that I used for pancakes previously. All right, so we're gonna get started. Um, the formula for the waffles is ever so slightly different than the formula for the pancakes. We're gonna start out for every cup of flour, and I'm gonna use three cups of flour because I'm gonna make extra uh, waffles to put in the freezer. So that my girls can just reach for those in the morning and stick them in the toaster oven, or Micah puts them ugh, in the microwave and they get all sogginess. Mm. So, for every cup of, uh, of flour, you're gonna want a cup of milk, or in my case, I'm using buttermilk. You can use plain milk, it doesn't matter. So this is a two cup measure, so I'm gonna go ahead and use only three cups. And that's probably this entire bottle. So we'll just go for it. Milk run time. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we're going to add, for every cup of flour, we're going to add one egg. So you've got, if you're only making enough for you, you're going to make a cup of flour, an egg, and a cup of milk. Two tablespoons of melted butter go in here, too. Okay. Let's break up that. And you can... Mix it all in at one time, it doesn't even matter. And for every cup, and I'll turn off the water because I know that some people out there are going, oh my God, you let your water run. I'm paying for it, don't worry. For every cup of flour, you need a teaspoon of baking powder. So we need three teaspoons of baking powder because that's what I'm making this morning. And I'm going to put a half a cup. We didn't think. I didn't. And I know as soon as I open this, the open jar will appear. Mm -hmm. I know. I know that it will. And I'm using a half a cup of malt powder, give or take, you know. This is what malt powder looks like. It's sold near the chocolate milk powder in your grocery store. And this, at this point, you're gonna whisk it together. And because I use buttermilk, it's probably gonna be very thick. If you use plain milk, it might not be that thick. Or as thick as mine is. See, with the pancakes, you don't add the uh, butter. You can use vegetable oil if you want to. I'm actually going to set this aside for a moment and grab a wooden spoon because I can get down, put some muscle into that. This is almost perfect for me, actually. Okay, let's move all this stuff out of the way. to get, is this a third cup? Yes. I have my waffle iron heated, or heating over here. I've got a lot of things going on too. I've got my blueberry sauce over here that we're doing in another video. I'm just going to give that a stir. It's getting ready to come up to a simmer. So, I don't think I can move that over here, so I won't. I'm just going to have to figure out where to stand, sweetheart. So my green light indicator says it's time to put a waffle in me. That's funny. That's what my husband was saying too. Waffle. Oh, you did not. I didn't do it right. <laughs> For those of you who are friends of 
the movie Shrek, you'll understand what he's doing. Hmm? A healthy one-third cup is going to go in there, and we're going to close it, and we're going to flip it. And then I'm going to wait for this little red light to turn on, and then we're going to turn it over, and we're going to take it out. When it's time to do that, we'll come right back. Okay, our little green light came on, and remember, the first one always looks funky. So now I know I can add a little more. It's nice and crispy and that is achieved because we use butter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead I'm going to add more batter. I'm just going to keep making waffles and then when it's time to serve these up I'll be back. Get a gravy little sweetie. Just like that. Now, I think that looks beautiful. A homemade buttermilk malted waffle with warm blueberry compote. I think that looks incredible. I can't wait to eat breakfast. So, I hope that you try this. Were you going to say something, honey? Mm -hmm. Oh. And I hope that you love it. And I'm so glad you joined me in my kitchen today. I love it when you come to visit. Um, Check out the recipe on my website, noreenskitchen.com. And until next time, I'll see ya.